Welcome to Money for Breakfast. I'm Alexis Glick. And I'm Peter Barnes. The defeat of the bailout bill sent shockwaves across the Capitol. Star Trek, the great adventure. Kirk Enterprise. Robert Osborne, he's the official Oscar historian. But this thing, thing weighs a I lot. That's I could do some reps with this. Oh, boy. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, the very lovable Peter Barnes. That was a look back at some memorable moments of Peter Barnes' amazing career here at the Fox Business Network. It wasn't all just fun. For nearly 10 years, our senior Washington correspondent <laughs> had a front row seat to just about every major business news story in the country's capital. Peter has broken stories, nabbed exclusive interviews, guided our viewers through the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression. He's a tough reporter who has fairly and aggressively covered the presidents, three presidents, two Federal Reserve chairs, and sometimes chaotic Congress. Peter, we are all going to miss you. We wanted to give you the right send-off. We know that you are headed off to be with your family in Boston for retirement. Congratulations, Peter. I've certainly loved working with you here at Fox Business Network and before that at CNBC. Thank Maria, you guys are just, uh, you're getting me. I, I had no idea <laughs> that this was coming. Thank you so much. And, uh, yeah, uh, you know, this has been a family decision. Uh, my wife took early retirement. We, we have a lot of family up in uh, the Boston area. We have our daughter Maggie, son-in-law uh, Sean, and two fabulous grandkids, uh, uh, Emmett and Tristan, ages three and five. My dad, Curtis, is out in Nantucket. Uh, and so this is what my wife uh, asked about doing. And, you know, Secret to a good marriage, Maria, when uh, your wife asks you something like this, uh, a good husband always says those three magic words to keep the marriage good, <laughs> which, is, which are, of course, dear. Of course, dear. <laughs> That's right. So uh, anyway, but so I'm, I'm retiring from uh, TV news, but I'm not retiring from work, and I, I'm looking at uh, considering my options up in Boston. But it's been a great run, and I just want to thank all my colleagues here, the best group of people that I've ever worked with. Just loved everybody thank and, you so you know, much very few people have an opportunity to actually build something you did you were among the first to really build uh this network the fox business network you were one of the building blocks on day one so congratulations to you i want to take this opportunity to let the rest of our friends here at the fox business network offer their own kind words watch this peter peter barnes i cannot believe you are leaving this fine network uh, I wish you all the best, my friend. We've known each other for quite a few years. You've always been a class act. What always bothered me, too, about you, Peter, you were a very good-looking guy and a brilliant guy. That's not fair. That's not right. But it is you being fair and balanced. Good luck to you, my friend. Peter, you showed me what a class act really is. Wish you the very best. I'll miss you, my friend. Peter, I'm going to miss you on Fed Days at 2 o'clock. We always count on you. Anyway, congratulations. Have a wonderful retirement. To Peter Barnes, the man with the best hair in the business, besides David. I can't believe that you're retiring at the age of 21. Isn't he too young? But we wish you well, Peter. Uh, Boston's a cold place. I know we got a home there. I don't uh, wish you well during the winters because you're not going to have a good time. But having said all that, we're going to miss you terribly. And Peter, you've been here since the very beginning, since day one. Remember you and I? Those are the memories, right? You led our team in Washington, D.C., and we could not have done it without you. We're going to miss you. Well, Peter, we were together along with Alexis Glick and Liz McDonald rocking the infamous Money for Breakfast. Remember those zany segments like The Witch's Cauldron, which, of course, will never be confused with the Rosebud scene from Citizen Kane, but... I will never forget it, and I'll never forget you, especially for all your encouragement. Happy trails, my friend. You will be missed. Class acts are always missed. Abe Lemons once said, the trouble with retirement is you never get a day off. Remember that, Peter. We wish you all the very best. Good luck. Oh, Peter, you are so loved here. Wow. wow. Congratulations wow. to you. Let me bring in Stuart Varney. He wants to say his own goodbye as well. Oh, I, I do. Oh, Peter, look, I've got three points to make. First of all, it's not yes, dear. It's yes, my love, whatever you say. <laughs> and point number two, you, you're younger than me. You cannot possibly retire. You're setting a very bad example. And number three, I too have a house on the Cape, and you are very welcome to come visit any time you like. Come on over. Okay? 
Good luck. I'll be you. there, Stuart. Thank you so much. Well, and you. again, thanks uh, to everybody. I've had just a blast. Wait, thank there's more. So Here's Dagan. Hey, Peter, I know you off the air as well, and I have to say that you have uh, endless gener generosity of heart and spirit that um, people, we're all lucky to know you, Peter, very much so. Thank you, Dagan. And the feeling is mutual. And, um, and you guys are going to make me cry. So let's Aww. let's go. Let's get let's get this too. <laughs> I want you. Who's going to be telling you, giving us the jobs number on Jobs Friday? Peter's there, giving us the the news as soon as before it's embargoed. Peter, we love you. Good luck, Peter Barnes, from Thank all of us here everybody. at the Fox Business Network. Farewell. Good luck in everything that you do. Thank you. All our love.